Hey everybody, and welcome to Fallout 76. So, you may have already watched um, some of my Fallout 76 content. Um, I have been playing the game since launch and have a relatively high level character, which I am playing through the new Wastelanders um, expansion, I guess you'd call it, um, with. And that is what I call my light playthrough, or my Paragon playthrough, if you like, if you like uh, Mass Effect. Um, this is going to be my Renegade playthrough, my Dark playthrough. Um, we're going to start a new character. I'm going to start in a private world still. Um, actually, I just realised I've, I've logged in with my... Um, <laughs> I've logged in with my uh, uh, old character. Well, that's a good start, wasn't it? Um, but this can let, let me explain things. So, in the Wastelanders DLC, you have different factions you can join. One of them are raiders, one of them are settlers, um, or the Foundation and the Crater, I guess. Um, but they also changed things about the way the game started, etc., because of the the stuff that goes on in there, I guess. Um, by the way, I got my backpack on, um, and it looks awesome. Uh, anyway, we're going to go back to the uh, main menu, because I just realised you need to select character. This character, Roman, is the one which I was using. He's level 76. I have another one who I was playing for a bit, but we're going to do a new one. Um, and actually, I don't think until level 10 you can go into a private world, so we will be with other people to begin with, which I guess is a good experience as well for what that's like. Um, I was quite surprised actually the limited um, uh, kind of coverage that the Wastelanders DLC has got. I was looking on Twitch and it, it wasn't really that well played and um, some of the gaming websites that I watched didn't really cover anything on day one which was surprising but you know we'll see. We'll watch through this little um, Opening. This great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault 10, but it was built by you, the good people of America. So that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts. Drop my phone. <laughs> and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. I don't think I've seen this introduction before. This could be new. I mean, it's been a while, so I can't remember, but... Let's see. Be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all 
So, um, not the character which looks quite mean, I think. Um, he yeah, actually looks quite mean. Uh, he's very old. He looks mean. He looks like a bruiser. Let's have a look. Um, uh, forehead. Okay. What type of facial hair do we want? <laughs> that is like the, you know, dastardly uh, looking character. Yes, it's quite dastardly. Quite like that. Hair. Uh, style. I don't think they've added anything new here. That's quite uh, mean looking. Uh, I think it would be quite. Um, let's go Pompadour, sod it. Yes, I quite like that, actually. Uh, body is... Yeah, I think it would be a bit more more thin. Not too muscular. Not too fat. Kind of like there on the scale, I think. We'll choose that. Name. I'm going to go for Dirk. I think that's a good mean sounding name. Apologies if your name is Dirk. Oh. There we go. Okay, so um, yeah, this will be more of a um, you know, choosing more of the dastardly options, the the ones which might not work out quite so well for people. So a shower, oh, that's good. Lovely clean bath. Right? Well, the floor's a bit messy, but compared to the rest of the world, it's uh, it's fine, isn't it? <laughs> We're just like. You know what? Screw this. We're just going back to bed. There we go. Never seen that before. Just goes to show sometimes. Anyway, I'm sure you guys have probably seen this a million times. The other thing that will be different with this playthrough is, well, also that I'm doing it soft-spoken, so... My high level character will be whispered. This one is going to be soft spoken to just do something different, I guess. Um, and uh, the the way we spec our character, the what we will, boop, uh, the way our character will, what weapons they use, etc., will be different. So. Stay hydrated. There's really not much point in exploring the vault because there's not much we can take. Thanks, Cavendish. Building supplies. Thank you. Thanks, he in bottom. A party hat. Of course, we will put the party hat on. Um, there is the Overseer's uh, terminal here. Uh, we can play the holotape. Um, let's eject it and play it because then it will have the subtitles. Um, to 
or die trying to. Hopefully, the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where in the dark. My direct was to those nearest the population and the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way. So yeah, the Overseer has gone out. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work now with uh, the whole questline. So I'm, I'm intrigued to know how it differs now. Um, it's also weird to kind of be out here and not know, uh, or not, you know, discovered anything or stuff like that. Um, but we will level up now. So, um... So my other character uses heavy guns, a lot of strength, and, and two-handed weapons, and also some pistols as well. So we're going to do kind of things a little bit differently. I'm going to try and go for a more kind of VATS-based build, I guess, with um, some charisma. Um, yeah, so we'll need agility and perception. I'm going to use agility first. There we go. And we'll do that. Action boy. Doesn't really matter too much at this stage what we're we're going for. Um, can I not? Um, that's only once you get to two on them you can do that. Okay. Oop, turn our pit boy light on and off. Oh, actually, I happen to know that there is a dead body with a pistol up here. God. We're so weak, we can barely even kill that um, Liberator. Right, let's get down here. And we're out of breath already. <laughs> it's going to be so weird playing with a lower level character. Crafting's going to be quite important to get our, our levels up. Hmm. So there is a different... Um, have you seen the Overseer? Well, yes, ah, interesting. Um, what's been going on out here? Me. Reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Uh sound like you think they're up to something. best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Any idea what these two are doing up here? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. I ought to be on my way. Do be careful out there, sir. Okay, so these are two ladies. Hey! Whoa, whoa! It's a friend here, not a threat. He's got some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? Uh, it's probably empty. I doubt anyone's still in there. down the road so this guy told us that after you gave him the last of our caps <laughs> he said that inside that vault is the you know it's where the big one is sure the last chance to turn our lousy luck around oh yeah yeah big ones in there all right we managed to trap it but i barely made it out of my life wait what i wonder if i was 
jerking you around, Lacey. Face it. <laughs> those are the last of our caps. No. Someone has it in his hand. Gonna stick it out until we find it. Sure. Wonderful. Look, thanks for whatever. <laughs> now, unless there was something you needed. You never spare weapon, would you? They didn't give you a weapon. I guess I've got something I can spare. Yeah. Here. Machete. Um, want to tell me what this big one was you're up here looking for? I certainly could, but since you decided to yank our chains, I'm gonna say no. What can you tell me about this area? About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard. Where is that? We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together. Area got hit pretty hard. Not long after. Well, these things showed up. The scorched. The scorched yeah. Merciless. They seem to have cleaned up wherever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. Um, what's the world like out there? We both came over from Virginia. Well, it was Virginia. There's a lot more hot zones that way. And a few spots that are livable. Well. They got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous. Really dangerous. It's better than where we've been. You see another vault to like a pine over here. Maybe I did. Or maybe you should ask the thing if you've got trapped inside the vault. Oh, okay. Oh, looks like I'll be going. Mm-hmm. Bye. <laughs> so, step one to being a jerk. Uh, we will need that machete, though. There we go, because we got some uh, of these guys. So we need to visit the Wayward. That's our only uh, quest line right now, which is really interesting. The Wayward's down there. Okay. Got some uh, low-level peeps as well. Hopefully there's some people we were going to be trying to game out for the first time. There we go. Yeah, so our melee weapon of choice will be, oh, our catalogs, um, will be uh, one-handed. You have to have melee and you have to have, like, ranged. I mean, you can, I guess you can not. You can just spec one, but it doesn't seem much point to it, to be fair. a cabin over here somewhere I like to go to. Collecting these soot flowers as I said like crafting will be a good way for us to level up quickly. Uh, the factions questline does not initiate until we hit level 20 so I may do some stuff off camera uh, to get us there basically. What's up in here? Beer bottle but there's some psycho in there. Yeah, I think this will definitely also be a drugs and chems playthrough as well. So, uh, yeah. We'll do that. I do use them a little bit in my other playthrough, but honestly not too much. Uh, so I guess we won't have to do the whole responders quick. Oh, maybe we will. I don't know. Let's get to Wayward and we'll find out. I just wanted to have a look for this cabin. I think it's up here. Make some supplies. Is it up here? I don't think it's marked on the map, so. I actually don't know where it is now. I've just got myself lost. Good job, Phil. Doesn't matter. We can go to the. Uh, um, actually, I would like to find it because there's the, usually some uh, hounds there which are quite good to kill. Just checked it. I didn't go too far past in there. Must be up here, surely. No. I think it's kind of like... I always thought it was past this. It could 
bit further down, but I could be completely wrong. Maybe I am completely wrong, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, whether you're, you know, playing a bit of Fallout or, or not. Uh, you know, I, I can't honestly comment and say I haven't played enough of the expansion to turn around and probably... Uh, you know, say to people, yeah, you should definitely jump in. But I will say that, you know, in terms of the base game, I did enjoy it a lot already. And, um, yeah, you know, I enjoyed, yeah, I enjoyed the base game a lot. And it seems like they've only improved it. So, you know, make that what you will. But I don't know yet, obviously, what uh, necessarily is going on. They're just fireflies. Don't need them. Got anything here? No. Let's get down to this lumber yard. I know there's some good wood supplies in here. Quite excited to have to make my own new camp and stuff like that. That'd be cool. I hear something. A tick. Come here. Quest started. Wayward souls. Discover the fate of Appalachia and its people. Okay. There we go. Get rid of him. See if we can pick up any stuff. Wood's really useful, to be fair. Um, I don't know what there is in this place. What's that? We'll take some starlight berries, why not? I think there's this tick down here. We'll get rid of him. There we go. We'll just take everything at the minute because you never know what you're going to need. Good, that's good. We can break it down anyway. I don't think I want the lead pipes over the machete. That's good. Some molotovs, eh? They'll come in handy. We'll just... Uh, Oh, didn't break down the other lead pipe. To begin with as well, you should be scrapping as many weapons as you can because that's how you learn mods uh, for them as well. So uh, it's quite important to do that. Later in the game, you might be able to buy some, but, you know. And get away from these stupid ticks. Lip. Okay, just have a look upstairs. There's nothing here. <laughs> and have a look, look up here. Oh, there's definitely something upstairs actually in that other place. I seem to remember. It's all coming back to me now. I've been here for a while actually. We've got a lovely uh, sunset going on. Um, nice beer. Coming handy, wouldn't it? Sure, I'll take a lumberjack saw. A lantern. Well, that is uh, bright. <laughs> you know I changed the settings on my monitor um, and honestly it's made the world a difference I I don't know why but I, for some reason when I picked up my monitor like probably a year ago no not a year sorry six months probably uh, I'd have bothered to change the settings and then I've kind of actually set it up and it's got a bit more contrast now and it really pops uh, really nicely actually sometimes monitors can look a little washed out when you compare them to like TVs and stuff but this one is, is definitely, yeah, 
pretty good. Uh, we'll take this stuff. I will try and save most of the loot and stuff like that for uh, off-camera kind of stuff on this one until we get to a level like level 20. So I might well do a few bits off-camera, but any story stuff I'll, I'll keep on camera. Um, oh, hello. There we go. I know there was one that ran up here. Let's try and sneak up. I don't know whether or not I'm going to do sneak with this character. I guess so. I'm not going to do power armor though. Shit. <laughs> I just realized I died. I'm so used to actually being quite powerful that uh, I didn't I didn't even think about it. That's so bad. I didn't even think about it. It's alright, we're not far away. That's quite embarrassing, actually. Um, but when you play like a high-level character, I mean, I do get close to... Well, I've died a couple of times uh, with my high-level character, but, like, you don't die that quick. Should be someone in here somewhere, maybe upstairs. Pipe pistol. Message to Sammy. Responders don't know shit. Every night there's more of them in the sky. Brotherhood warned them, warned us all. Defiance has fallen, they said. What the hell does that mean? Supplies running low. Make sure I to get Abbey way over the mountain. Free states have got no more. Sammy, read this. Get to Abbey, straight east of the mega. She knows the Brotherhood is still better than anyone. May angels look after you. Be sure as shit, nothing else will. Um, yeah, it gives you... Oh, hello, cat. Cheswick II. Huh. Nice to meet you, Cheswick. Uh, maybe I should uh, guy just out here thank you now we just need to go to where I died so I can pick up my loot god I'm an idiot I tell you This should one-shot most of them, so. Uh, same, three, four, five. There we are. There we go, got our loot back. Uh, maybe we'll do rifles with this one as well. Like, if we go, we could go proper stealth, and maybe you could do arrows. That might be good with a bow get into that we'll see anyway that's quite a long way off you know to be fair too you can start specializing so oh. do I want a revolver no I'm, I'm happier with the pipe uh, let's see if we can um, modify this at all oh throwing knives are good Just to modify. We want to scrap this, I think. And we want to modify. Okay, we can't do anything because we don't have screws. Once we have screws, we can actually modify it. Which ammo have I got? Two. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Any more scorchy scotch? I think there's one in there somewhere. He's up. Damn. Don't miss, you only have three bullets. I think he slid off. Okay. 
Here he is. Guess we'll take the revolver. And where do we need to go up this way? Okay, another sign for the wayward. Do, 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 do. So I guess the wayward is gonna because I wondered if they would maybe. Well, you appeared out of nowhere, didn't you? My oh, vats are so bad. Um, yeah, the uh, I wondered how they're going to do it, actually. So it looks like... I'm sorry. <laughs> it looks like you are... This is set in... Um, I haven't got any bullets. Machete it is. It looks like this is set up to... Uh, um, kind of take you... Um... And, and update you, I guess. Take you to the wayward and probably update you on what's been happening. But I'm intrigued to know how they do that. We might be able to get some fresh water out of that purifier. So bright. Yeah. I'm going to collect some dirty water though, even though it gives us rads. Can turn it into boiled water. We we'll probably have some right away. Okay. Hello, Jide. New face. Welcome to the wayward. Duchess will take care of you. Couple okay. Of vending machines on the porch if you just need to order some meds. All right. Well, I didn't. So is the overseer's camp still there? Let's have a look. Is a scorchy scorch. Okay. Well, that turret would have worked, but so yes, yeah, so it looks like the overseer's is still here. Uh, don't want to scrap any weapons with scrap items. Get the metal bed plan. Oh yeah, nice. But the overseer, no, the overseer's box is still here. Okay, interesting. We can craft some armor when we're here. And actually, what I wanted to do is just cook off a load of stuff. Uh, Make some soot flowers. This will get our XP up a little bit as well. Food. There we go. We've got a bit of food and drink. Might as well eat and drink now. We're going to save the purified water. Oh, I don't know why I'm drinking dirty water. Idiot. Um, and we'll have a cobbler. There we go. Uh, right, let's go and speak to um, Lady in the Wayward. So none of this was here before. Uh, interestingly. Take a bit of corn. You won't mind, I'm sure. Vending machines are not much use because we're like out of money. Team only interior. Okay, continue. So I think we had it where we had the overseer. And this obviously is a bit different. Okay. Lady, I will paint the walls of you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now. Sweetheart, I think you... Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. Okay. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? None of your damn business. What's going on? That's this one. Seems to think I know where this big treasure is, and that I'm building my new bar out of refuse for fun. Lady, this is your last one. Our crew is getting that treasure. I will happily send you both to the great guy. 
goddamn be honest if you don't start explaining where I can find what's ours. Crew, are you hiring? <laughs> Smart little distraction there, huh? Batter. Though I am hoping you're here to play nice. Don't want my people to have to dig any more graves today than they have to. Hmm. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First okay. round's on me. Oh, thank you, you very much. It. There's something I could do for you. Um, well, he, was, he said something about treasure. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Okay. Not exactly good for a budding business. Um, you need help dealing with these thugs? Not the first of his crew to roll in here, but I want him to be the last. Okay. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house, but my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. Okay, so, money's good. Okay. okay. That's what I was hoping. So, the details. Now. Each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Could pretend to be Crane. <laughs> Man invitations, maybe? That's what my mum did for my birthday party, so I guess no one came to those either. Oh, darling. Uh, <laughs> see, as fine as that idea is, you know, I was thinking we could take a different time. Okay. Just give me one sec. All right. Are you looking at? I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh? Not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom made. Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. <laughs> okay. If I can butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They didn't okay. teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Uh, sure. Well, I had to build structures from schematics. That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. Okay, Morty Mort. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, nah, I'm not bragging or anything, but I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. <laughs> well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course, you're going to need materials. But we should have enough line around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials too, since you're doing me such a big one. Yeah, better get some caps too. Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Okay. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Sure. Uh, I didn't want to ask you. I haven't seen the overseer for 76 of you. Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. <laughs> no, I haven't seen her. But I have heard her. My people found a tape just on the other side of the road that it seems she left behind for one of her dwellers. Though it's a bit out of date now. Maybe it was waiting there for you. Happy to give it to you. So long as you're still willing to help us. Sure, let's do this. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. 
Just make sure once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Yes, I will murder them all. Here. That overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in self reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. Okay. Thank you. What have you got to trade? A machete. How have you got a jumpsuit? <laughs> Duchess is dram, okay. Ammo. Okay. Oh, corn. Goose your steam bag right away. Oh, okay, that's not bad. By the way, you just take everything in here. Hunter for hire. Oop, you can take your fan as well. Okay, let's go craft ourselves some armor and stuff. And uh, we could probably upgrade our gun a little bit, although I haven't really got much ammo, so that's not much use. Um, but yeah, okay, this is really interesting that this is so different. <laughs> um, so in the original one, you basically had to follow the footsteps of the overseer. I guess you can probably still do that. Yeah, the first contact one. But um, I guess you probably don't have to do that as well. I don't know, it's weird. Um, Let's go over here and... Oh, there's a level 3 person over here. Do, do, do. Okay. We'll scrap our items first. And then we'll do some crafting. Will it want us to craft a weapon? Okay. Uh, I might make the knife. Does that count as a weapon? Yes. Okay. Switch to modify. Uh, we will scrap that. We will repair this. Uh, there we go. And we will modify this. Which we can only put on a reflex site. And that's it, because that's all the only stuff we know so far. It's fine. And uh, we definitely need to craft some armor. Because we have none. Oh, I can make my stuff that I have there. And all my outfits. So that's nice. Ah, oh, we're missing a piece of leather. Should we... What outfit should we wear? Uh, that's a mean looking helmet. I might go for the cowboy hat. I'll go for the cowboy hat, that look, and then the duster. Uh, nearly have a complete set of armour. There we go. We look a little bit, uh, a little bit meaner, I think. Okay. We can boil a bit more water as well. Don't want this dirty water. There we go. A bit more food. Good stuff, right. So, uh, at least it tells you how to uh, get plans now. When I first started the game, I had no idea. It was ridiculous. So, you just select them and yeah, that was the one there. Like that. And then we need to uh, place our camp, I guess, and build the, the sign at our camp. So, where are we going to build our first camp? I'd like it actually down by the river. That'd be nice. Someone's built their camp there. I also think I think we might need some more like wood now because we've used it all gravel concrete scrap. Oh interesting. Never seen that before. <laughs> so uh, Okay. Yeah, maybe the other side of the river would be nice actually. Get some blood leaf while I'm here, that's always useful. Uh 
Um, Get off the other side, and yeah, maybe here uh, we need to put our camp down. Oh, we leveled up as well, actually, so it's important to. Uh, what do we want to go in? Perception? That would be good for the VAT stuff. Uh, endurance, charisma. That's not useful right now. Stim packs could be useful. Luck would be pretty good. Get that early. One handed, two plus ten. I'm gonna go for the concentrated fire. Uh, and then we want to build. Oof. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's the sign. Okay. Let's not do that right now. Let's maybe build some floors. We haven't got a lot of wood actually, we can build one floor. <laughs> okay. Let's build this here. There we go. Uh, we have not enough wood. We could build a turret on here. <laughs> it's nice to know. We could build a, a porch railing. Lovely. And we can build a generator. And we can build a light. Which doesn't seem to work. I've got a little Nuka Cola light here. Put that on there. I've got any copper. Uh, we can build a fridge. Uh, I need cloth for my sleeping bag, which I don't have. Wood for my chair. All this type of stuff. What are we going to do? I'm going to finish here and go and collect some materials off camera, and then we'll come back and I'll build a little base off camera. Till then, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.